Meanwhile, President Trump on a, t a Twitter t a tear, tried saying that three times this morning, uh, blasting Mexico over what he calls the mother of all caravans, saying a very big caravan of over 20,000 people started up through Mexico and has been reduced in size by Mexico, but is still coming. Mexico must apprehend the remainder or will, we will be forced to close that section of the border and call up the military. The coyotes and cartels have weapons. And just moments ago, he praised the construction of his border wall. We are stopping the drug flow as much as we can soon. We're going to have a wall that's going to be a very powerful wall. It's under construction. The media doesn't like talking about it. The media doesn't like talking about it. It's one of many things we're doing. Joining me now is the Border and Commerce Secretary Council President Nelson Bolito. Nelson, thanks for joining us. Hey, Charles, good to be with you. So it seems every time you and I uh, meet like this, uh, the, the conversation is a, a, a new caravan. Uh, often they're getting larger and larger. Numbers are disputed over this. Some say it's as many as 10,000 people. Perhaps it was 20,000. We know it's a shockingly large number. More recently, we've seen record apprehensions, particularly amongst family and children. Why is this crisis getting worse? Well, if you look at the numbers, let's look at 2017, 420,000 apprehensions for the entire year, 2018, about 520. And as of this month, we've already surpassed both those years for apprehensions, and we're on our way to 1 million apprehensions this year. The, the, the issue is, is stems from the lack of cooperation from Mexico. The president that took over there on December 1st, 20. Uh, 18 just last year. If you look at the numbers when they started spiking, we're a couple months right before he took over. And then, then taking, the cartels started taking advantage of the movement of the president and their, and their people. And then you see a spike come December, January, February, and you're seeing it continuously. Mexico has to seal their southern border. And if, if they don't do that, it's not only taking jobs away from the actual citizens of Mexico, but also creating a, a culture of corruption. It's gotten to the point where smuggling humans is more lucrative than smuggling drugs. I'll tell you one governor that I just got off the phone this morning, the governor of Tamaulipas, Mexico, uh, Francisco Garcia Cabeza de Vaca. This is the border state between Laredo and Brownsville. He tells me he wants to do more. He wants to work with, with the Department of Homeland Security, and we've been working on this campaign for security and prosperity with our council, working with DHS, Manny Padilla down in the, in the as Joint Task Force West, and certainly the governor, and looking at ways that we can stop this cartel encroachment. Because what's happening at five to seven thousand dollars a head, we are feeding this culture of corruption, and this governor is the only guy that's going out there. We have seized. We 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 looked at ten people that we did an interagency mm -hmm. search and. Name them, and we've caught seven of ten cartel, major cartel members in less than eight months. That's humongous. I wish we had that cooperation from the federal government in Mexico and certainly the other border states, which we simply don't have. Well, until that happens, though, Nelson, can we just expect then for this on, on, on rush to continue to get even worse? And by the way, we've got a minute left. Some are actually saying the success that President Trump is having uh, erecting the wall is creating even a greater sense of urgency. It is creating an urgency. I'll tell you, the thing is, we have to have a wall because that stops and slows down the traditional illegal immigration. But we have Congress has to do something. We have to act. We, we want to focus sure on the folks that are here and the, the DACA recipients and so forth. But that's a separate issue. We got to stop the bleeding before we can figure out how to diagnose the, the entire problem. That, that issue of continuous 4,000 people coming over that border on a daily basis has to stop. Right. The, this caravan is just simply a, another symbol of they're laughing in our face. These cartels are just moving these people wholesale towards our border. Nelson, always great uh, discussing this with you. You bring facts that, that no one else brings, and we definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you, Charles. Appreciate you.